So I took $1,000 to over 10K just trading this one strategy. I'm gonna teach you inside this video. I don't have the last two days of gains, but I can promise you they're over 10K. But regardless, if you're a new trader out there that has a small account and you have that false belief in your mind that I can't make a lot with $1,000, I can't quit my job with $1,000, that's holding you back. And if you get a profitable strategy, you can do anything with leverage. Inside this video, we'll teach you exactly how to use leverage to possibly quit your job and do this full time. And this took me 15 days. If it took you 15 days, that would be incredible. But we'll dive into the number one reason this worked out is because I traded SPY. And there's many reasons why this is the best way for new traders to stay profitable. Number one, the bid ask spread is super tight. So if I have this option down here, let's say it's $200 ish, I have a buyer at 185, I have a seller at 187. So that is a very tight range of $2 for a $200 option. That's 1%, which means when you get in the option, you might lose 1%. When you get out of the option, you might lose 1%, especially if you're hitting the market order. But some stocks out there like Tesla or AI or Palantir, they have a 10% bid ask range for the most part. And that means when you hit the market order, you're losing 10%. And when you get out, market order, you lose 10%. With $1,000, if you lost 20% on every trade, guess how much you would have after five trades? Nothing, goose egg. So you have to be understanding liquidity, bid ask, all that stuff. Here's the other reason I like SPY. No shenanigans. I'm looking at you, AI. There was a tweet that came out a couple days ago about how AI's accounting isn't up to par, and now the stock went from $34 to 20. And if you're swinging this stock, if you're trading this stock, you probably got thrashed because fundamentals don't matter when one stock has a news event that completely shakes the stock and completely shakes investors. So AI is not SPY because SPY has hundreds of stocks inside its index fund. So if it was holding AI as an investment, guess what? it would not affect the overall index because there's so many other stocks in there. So one stock doesn't affect it. One news event really doesn't move the stock too much. And more importantly, this allows us to have predictable price patterns we can play and know 80, 90% win rate, they're going to pay us. So that's why we trade SPY, very predictable. Here's the other reason why I just started focusing on SPY, especially for this strategy. You see this chart right here? This is most new traders, 10 indicators, 10 charts, 10 game plans, 10 Twitter accounts they follow. And then when the market opens, they're like, bam, bam, bam. I don't know what's happening. And they're firing away off their hips and they're not getting in at the best place. They're not managing their trade correctly. They might miss the stop loss. They might miss the profit zone. So if you are one of those distracted traders, switch it to one chart. That's gonna change the game for you. You don't need a game plan in the morning. You just need to look at SPY, know your key levels, and literally just wait for those levels to hit. It's as easy as that. And here's number two. This is huge, and this is very tough for new traders, is managing zero-day options. But if you can do that, if you can now move on SPY with a zero-day option, that leverage 300% in one trade, 1,000% in one trade, 100 bucks turns into 1,000, doubles your account. The possibilities if you now zero-day options are insane. If you don't know why we like SPY, they just have zero-day options now every single day. Er day, er day. <laughs> so that means every day we can wake up with the maximum amount of leverage. This is dangerous, but I'll show you how to manage it in a second. Here's the other reason why zero-day options are crazy. I nailed one setup for SPY, 300%. $6,000. I didn't put my whole account in. I didn't put half my account in. I put, I think, 20 to 25%. And this is where it hit 10K almost in one day. I mean, I tripled, doubled this account in one day. It was crazy. That's the leverage. And if you have momentum, if you have a good entry point, that's the possibility. You don't know how many hundred percenters I see every hour, every multi hundred percenter I see every day. This is very, very, very possible. 
and especially if you play the right time of day. Number three, you gotta, gotta, gotta get off Robinhood, Webull, all the crap platforms. If they don't have OCO, if they don't have a one button system that has your stop loss and profit order in, you're not gonna survive, you're not gonna 10X your account like I did as easily because stop losses are how I grew this account and stayed profitable. I took a couple losses, I took a lot of gains, but I had to take those losses to consistently grow this thing. And I'm not afraid to take losses anymore because you have to trust an entry and exit system that's reliable. If you take a loss, you know it's calculated, you know it's gonna happen. But if you're not familiar, OCO stands for one cancels the other. One cancels the other. So as you can see here, I have a 60% profit order and then I have a 30% stop loss. That has two exit orders in one trade and then I am trying to enter this trade right here. And when I get in this trade, here's what happens. Those profit orders and stop loss orders get entered instantly. I don't have to think, I don't have to manage the trade when it goes, I can just walk away, eat some bonbons on the couch and come back an hour later, see what happened. If you're not trading OCOs with zero day options, you're gonna fail with this strategy. So don't even try to do what I'm saying if you're not using OCOs with zero day options. And here's the fourth, and then we have one last reason to crush this strategy, but here's the fourth way that's really helped me stay profitable with this strategy. So the time of day for trading is huge because I hit 100 percenters in the morning, I hit 100 percenters at the close. What I don't do is hit 100 percenters from nine o'clock to like 11.30. So that two and a half hour gap is where it's low volatility, low volume, a lot of chop, and that's gonna crush you if you're trying to get into plays because all it takes is a one volume candle to ruin a setup. And just because you're playing that time of day, you can't target as big of wins. You're not gonna hit those 200% runners midday. You might be able to, but for the most part, you're gonna get stopped out a lot easier because there's just so much manipulation in that middle of the day. One thing I didn't note here that you need to listen to is I don't trade the open anymore for SPY. It's so much easier to just wait 30 minutes because news comes out at eight o'clock, stuff comes out at 7.30, you want to make sure you start your day at 8. And people ripped on me a little bit in the Discord because uh, they were confused why I was starting after the open. Well, you need to gauge price action to get into a play. For example, if I only play, let's say, in golfing candles, how many candles do you really have to go off of when the market opens? The answer is zero. You can't go off any candles to set up your strategy to look for a discount. So if you play at eight, you have more price action to look for. You have the high of day, you have the low of the day, you have the middle of the day. That range allows you to plan and set up for a strategy or a, a trade and allows you to win more. So if you wait till late, that's the key. So I trade from eight to nine and then I hop on at 12 and that's where the market can just boom hit the buy program, it goes up for the next two hours. If you just wait till 12, $100 could turn into 500. It's insane what the momentum can do, especially on a zero day option in the last two hours. More importantly, in the last 30 minutes, I don't enter a trade or in, or in the last 45 minutes. That's a little too dangerous. I need like an hour to hold the trade minimum. So that's why we do eight to nine and then probably like 12 to 130. We don't trade the middle, we don't trade the open. Not anymore. And here's the last part. My secret strategy. This, I'm gonna do a bonus for you. I'm not telling you inside this video. We'll keep it super simple and short, but I will show you the strategy live in the Discord for free. I'm doing a live stream every single Thursday for free where you can watch me trade this strategy and you'll be able to see and understand it better way better than me explaining it to you in a video because now we're gonna help traders be profitable without spending a dime, not putting in their credit card, their email, their mother's maiden name. We're doing it for free in the Discord. It's gonna be a good time. That's all I got. That's how I took 1K to 10K and I'm hoping you can do the same or better. If you wanna like and subscribe to the video, you're just gonna get great trading content for the next 10 to five years. 
And if you want to watch a video on my best scalping strategy that was a couple months ago, check it out in the video to the right of me. Peace out. See you on the next one.